everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live here on Behance. I'm Kathleen and I'm here with my second day in a row friend. Yes, Kendall. Kendall Henderson. Kendall, Kendall, Kendall. Yes. Do you ever go by that? You're like, hi, my name is Kendall. 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 No, it's just like, you know, when like the, the URL or the Instagram handle is taken, I just mm -hmm. like started adding until more, it worked. <laughs> more Kendalls. Kendalls yeah. till the end of time, all yeah. the way down. <laughs> awesome. So Kendall was here with us yesterday working on a pretty cool nostalgic project. We'll talk yes. more about that in a minute, but I want to let you all know that this week we're focusing on editorial design. So it's a lot of typefaces, a lot of layouts going on. Uh, we're starting the day off with a daily creative challenge uh, in the morning, and then the editorial design starts with Barbara and Christine, which you just saw. Uh, right now we're with Kendall Henderson, obviously. Then we have Steven coming back up with Christine, and we are ending the day with Ozzy. And every day we do have either a challenge or something else for you. So today's challenge is to make a travel poster with a font pack that Kendall curated and yes. put together for you. So if you want more info on that, check out the challenge tab over here. Uh, we might talk about the font pack a little bit in a while, but for now, go check out the tab. And then in about 30 minutes, we're going to be doing a chat and win. It's going to be the same as yesterday, that awesome hardcover Moo notebook. You could win if you are active in chat, so we'll do that in about 30 minutes. And if you weren't here yesterday, Kendall, why don't you introduce yourself? Who are you? Hi, I'm Kendall. Uh, I'm living in New York, working uh, as a freelancer. I've been doing that for about two years. Um, it's been great. I love New York. I love freelancing. Glad love to hear that design. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the things you're doing. That's great. Yeah, and this is your work that I'm showing yes. behind. So it's a lot of, like you said, some fashion. A lot uh, of fashion. Music stuff. Some editorial books, mm -hmm. branding, kind of everything. Yeah. All the good stuff. Been featured a lot. Congrats. Yeah, that just re recently started happening though. <laughs> cool. Well, great job. Just in time. I could, I <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's awesome. And chat, if you are just checking us out for the first time, let us know if this is your first time hanging out or if you were here yesterday with Kendall. Let us know that as well. Of course, we have Eric hanging out, Ahmad Ricardo, KR Sexton, my good friend. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> Dinesh was here with us yesterday as well. <laughs> so cool. So uh, if you want to say hello. Say hello. We'll say hello back. <laughs> awesome. So like I said, we're working on something a little nostalgic. Yes. What so, is your project? <clears throat> my project <clears throat> my project deals with um, with like I sort of like collected all these receipts when I went to Japan. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to organize them and sort of put them into since they're like so beautifully done and well organized um, in terms of like the layouts and like the typography and the use yeah. of <clears throat> color and everything like little stamps yeah things are like things just look great in japan yeah. and also be i think it's because you like i can't read the text that i'm right. actually like paying more attention to like form and layout and oh that makes sense so um so i'm sort of taking these and like remembering all the places i went but mm -hmm. also sort of collecting and uh building a, a like a where to go yeah. sort of template for friends or for whoever would be interested. I love this one. It's like yeah. Western. Yeah, right. So funny. Awesome. So you said, yeah, since you uh, are always getting asked your recommendations, this is literally, here are my recommendations. Right. I've been to these places. I vouch for them. Yeah. I <laughs> spent money there, so right. hopefully they're good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and the sort of thing we're doing is, is deciphering like what's the most important thing on this on these receipts which I believe would be like the location um, yeah. the name of the place and sort of like if if I can get the translation correct um, what it was that I purchased mm -hmm. um, so it's like proof like the proof of purchase proof of receipt right yeah. so um, so yeah that's where we're at awesome and I was saying yesterday that I just love this Photoshop document yeah, it is, yeah. I just want that yeah so this is cool. my reference doc mm -hmm. that I'm that I put together is make sure to use for like the actual like getting the translation. So I scan these in so I can send them to a site and they do a sort of good translation. But yeah. then I had my friend who's uh, Japanese actually go in and double check yeah. just to make sure that I'm not saying anything crazy. Good old Tomo. <laughs> good old Tomo. So uh, yeah. Man, yeah. awesome. So this is my reference. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. So Sounds good. yesterday, yeah, let's go over that we, we sort of started putting together like a, 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 I was showing how to get the copy, the text from like a document onto InDesign, mm -hmm. sort of laying it out and setting up our grid, which is a two by seven grid. It's pretty simple because like um, 
the format we're using here, the ratio, is inspired by like the actual like ratios that most of the receipts come in. Right. So, um, yeah, so we set that up, we moved a couple in, we started playing around with like how we can lay them out and make them look beautiful and interesting and also like have a, a bit of a family to them um, mm -hmm. as we go through. We built um, the first one, which has like minimal to, you know, just a, like enough copy on it. And yeah. then we built another one. I'll skip through that for now. Okay. We built another one that has like quite a bit of text on it yeah. to see like what type sizes we would need to make everything fit. So our middle, our, um, our tertiary, our intern, like the rest of them. So the, yeah. the in-betweens. Cool. And then I recommended when you get to this point, you print it out and yeah, take so a look at the size did. so you can see like if things are looking proper. And I think that this is starting to look like kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it would be, this is like sort of me thinking about how it would be bound as well. Cool. It's like a little little receipt book. So cool. cool. And you use the staple at least for now and maybe for, for the now it depends, thing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends on how you know how much time I have to bind it, right? Yeah. Very cool. Cool. So yeah, so let's just jump back in. Awesome. It, sho so, it shows that you did a little bit of work. I did, yes. Afterwards, just kind of cleaning things up. So I cleaned some things up, made sure that our, like all the type was consistent or at least felt consistent, mm -hmm. um, and then made some modifications to um, yesterday's elements from the receipt, because the idea here is that not everything is one-to-one, -one, like looking directly at this receipt right. and uh, translating it you know, perfectly. Right. So we want it to feel like this receipt, but we want it to have some sort of flavor, some sort of new um, take on it. So instead of like using the, the full logo, I decided like, let's break up the logo yeah. and sort of s treat the, the MA5, which actually ends up being um, like part of the location. So Nike Lab and then MA5, I guess, is standing for <laughs> Minya uh, Aoyama 5, mm -hmm. which is like the location. Right, and that so, tiny little swoosh between the M and, and the A. Yeah, right. So sort of breaking it up similarly to how they branded it here. Yeah. But a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And then using the, um, there's rule lines here on the receipt. And the Nike Lab logo also has this nice little rule on top. Yeah. So sort of bringing that into the mix as well. So like thinking about how instead of it being underlining text, you sort of like put it, place it on top. So yeah. having that be the element that separates the sections is a nice little nod to both the logo here and also the actual build of the layout of the receipt. Right, and I remember yeah. yesterday the rules were, uh, they were full bleed. Yes. And it looks like you kind of chopped them in. Yeah, so them up. chopped them in just because that is how it lays out on the receipt, but also mm -hmm. it makes more sense to, if I'm mimicking sort of this rule here, yeah. that it would fit. On, on the page itself. Yeah, it looks very intentional. Yeah. Very crisp. So that's how I got there. And then um, I also like went through and found a few photos and I actually mm. found this is literally right after I bought. Wait, that's you. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is us and that's Dinesh right there. Oh wait. This is our friend Greg. Like in chat? Yeah, that's Dinesh. Oh right my there. gosh, cool, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, he went all, he went with the, me on pretty much all of the trips. Dinesh knows all about this. Give yeah. us some secrets, that's Dinesh. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so using that same rule to sort of break up space, mm -hmm. um, because this is going to be like where it's bound, right? And then this is the the date and time. So this is literally like when I made this purchase. That's pretty cool. So this will lay and out like, like on the see. back. Yes, and there's the logo there. There's wow. the storefront. So yeah, found. I have a couple images that I'm going to try and add in to these to make it more interesting too. Awesome. So. That's like the beautiful thing about having your photos captured digitally is like you right. literally have the timestamp to the second and the location. Right. Like drag and drop. Exactly. Love so, it. So, and then we had this one that we worked on which was the dense copy. Mm -hmm. Not much changed here. Um, found a way to like sort of make the advertisement that was on here about the, the strange advertisement about the season of getting raw salmon. Yeah. <laughs> see, Sushi is fine and enjoying the season. Whole thing Shisha. title case. Yeah, and then um, I added, I found some elements that I like kind of thought were just monotonous, like the, these parentheses. So I decided yeah. to make them, like change them up and give the, like I love this thin, um, it's Freight, which is one of my fonts that I picked has this really beautiful thin parentheses. Cool. So I've been using that in every place that I can. Yeah. Because it, it, you know, it, it creates a little bit more contrast. 
seriously, um, especially for such a dense. For a dense design. piece, yeah. yeah. So. Trying to find it. Here it is, maybe. Yes, Standing that's sushi. the one. Gotcha. So yeah. So that's where we're at now. Um, okay. I, I also wait. I also did this one yesterday, right? Oh yeah, um, right at the end. Right at the end, really quick, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like thrown together. And I decided um, since this receipt ends up having, it has a front and a back, right? Let's show you that front yeah. and the back. Wait, is that the receipt? This yeah, well, this acted as it. Yeah. Oh okay, gotcha. Um, it looks like a little tag. It that looks would like be. a tag, yeah, mm -hmm. which was funny. Um, but so since it has like this orientation, which is different from the rest of them. I uh -huh. sort of decided to like condense it at the bottom. So it made it feel a little different. Oh. And then the the back sort of takes that logo and plays with it. Cool. Literally with play in the word. Mm -hmm. And so like basically I took it and made this connect like this wave here. Yeah, just Casual, fun. I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. So yeah, this is what we're sort of doing. So today is like playing almost and seeing what works and seeing what sticks. Mm -hmm. And then from there we'll get serious again. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. If you so. insist. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm excited to see what else you cool. dig into today. And then chat, we have about uh, 20 more minutes until we're going to be doing our chat and win. Make sure that you are logged in. And if you're watching us on YouTube, come on over to Behance. BE.net slash live is the quickest and easiest way to get over here. And that's how you could uh, participate in the chat and win. And that's all I have to say for now. Cool. <laughs> so I've already got some of these like plugged in text wise. So mm. we're just going to start playing. Okay. Um, this, this one, I'm just gonna start jumping in. And if uh, anyone has questions, like just let me know, cause I'm, I'm gonna try to focus. Okay. <laughs> cool. But um, essentially the, this, is a, this is a ticket for a, a mu art museum that was, is really beautiful and it's like on an island. Um, wow. So let's see, so like looking at the receipt itself, like maybe like wanna see like what elements I can pull from. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's from. go pro it. GoPro's getting a lot of use this week. So, I turn it right side up like this. Oh. Right? Yeah. Um, so, there's, is that, no, it was right, sorry. So, um, <laughs> like, I really like these little dashes that are being used. Yeah. And it's, like, cool because this is probably, like, using the extent of whatever program yes. that they use to make these receipts. Like, yeah. they're trying their hardest to add these little design elements, mm -hmm. so it's really cool. So, definitely going to pull that. And there it is again. Mm -hmm. So, maybe we can try to unify those or make them do something special. And then I also like that receipt is sort of like called out here, which is funny because it's it seems it's, obvious. It's obviously it's, a receipt, yeah. <laughs> but they sort of call it out, so like maybe let's make that larger mm -hmm. and like, you know, play and see what we can do with it. Gotcha. So okay. let's start with okay. that actually. And um, blow this guy up. A slightly, not off topic, but a different question. Alberto is wondering about, about your public school New York stuff like, your hoodie okay. your projects um, um in a nutshell what is that all about uh public school new york is uh, actually a fashion house in based in new york um made up of these two guys that um i used to work with mm -hmm. back in the day at another job um they're they've been on the fashion scene for a while and like they've built a brand there and it's um it's like kind of a mix between like their their whole aesthetic is like a mix between like the highs and lows of fashion because um, huh. like obviously fashion like proclaims this like exclusivity and yeah um, but they come from you know like Brooklyn and Queens and they're very like um, uh, let's see they're very like into hip hop and like basketball mm -hmm. and streetwear so like yeah. they're back in the day before streetwear was actually like part of fashion yeah. like they were sort of part of that new that first um, wave of, of designers who were, were uh, getting in there. Yeah, your designs are yeah. super sick for yeah, these. I, I love I helped, it. I helped on the, the Air Force One collab, actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Which is this project, where we launched it at a, a, ba a streetball tournament, which was crazy fun. These are so cool. Were you like the apparel designer, or was it a team? Uh, it, kind of was, it was in collaboration with Nike, so. Okay. A lot of the event stuff they handled, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of like the visuals were like a, a, a teamwork, mm -hmm. sort of like bouncing ideas back and forth. Yeah, because this feels very Kindle to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it is. Yeah, it is very Kindle. Yeah, everything <laughs> that I put up is going to basically be what the portion that I had a, gotcha. a hand in. So. Super cool. So everyone go check that out. 
if you're interested. And if you want to check out more of Kendall's work and ask him more questions, uh, you can click on the info tab over here and click on his little face. <laughs> It'll take you here. And as you can see, I'm already following him, so you should too. Give him a follow. Cool. Awesome. Colin says, my man. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so let's see if we can recreate that, that little dash that we saw. I like to use this. Um, oh. Because it gives us a nice regulated dashed line. Mm -hmm. And then you can control the spacing here. <laughs> I was looking for it too. I was like, I think it moved. <laughs> it changes, yeah. They change it and it's in different places in different programs. So. Dang it, Adobe. <laughs> on, on behalf of Adobe, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> I can't say that. So let's, <laughs> let's do that maybe. Sort of give it a an area to contain in. Maybe Ooh. let's add another one. Nice. Just a little taste. Just a little one. <laughs> Eric says he is so cool. Only if one day I could be cool like Kendall or Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> I'm not the cool one in this situation. <laughs> He's doing all the work. You've been here several times before, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a couple, several. Let's see. I wonder if it has hundreds. Who knows? Oh, these are different sizes. So let's make them one size for now. Just because I want this uh, to not touch the dash. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the dash. Sounds like a board game. Or a euphemism. Cool. You know what? I'm actually going to bring this... Like I said, I, I like to put text boxes on top of text boxes. And like, yeah. I think this is a situation where we want this to be separate so that I can move it as one. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm using my tablet today, so I'm like getting used to that. That's all right. We're watching you learn and, and adapt. It's good. Do you usually use a tablet I for do, like yeah. a mouse as well? But you know, like every, yeah, I do. But usually, you know, depending on where you set yourself up, it like feels just hair different. Yes, for sure. So let's group this for now so we can make sure it stays out of the way. But that looks interesting, like a new take on what we have we see on the totally. on the receipt itself. Mm -hmm. um, I also like to, like I could, like, there's a million things we could do here. Like we could go crazy, like that it could look nothing like the receipt. Yep. But I think the way I design is I, I it's 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 better to have some sort of fundamental mm -hmm. to go off of because mm -hmm. otherwise it gets into a subjectivity question. Um, right. Like if one person thinks something looks cool and another person doesn't, then it's like, how do you really solve that that question? Yeah. yeah. So for me, if I can point back to like, oh, this rule came from literally off the receipt, then I can sort of mm -hmm. prove the reason why I'm doing it, and then it also has. It already already looks good here. Yeah. So if I do something similar, it's gonna look good there. So. Wow, I love that. Yeah. That's a really cool idea because I I live in a very subjective yes. world, like with yes. illustration and styles and those kind of things. But yeah, when it comes to clients, that's like not really the place you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because it's just a uh, it's a back and forth, and you know sometimes you nail it though. Sometimes a client will think that what you think is cool, and then it's. Mm -hmm. You're right on the money. Yeah. Oh, you got a Picari Sweat. Yes. The weirdest drink of all time. Yes. <laughs> Picari Sweat is delicious. It's basically yeah. Gatorade. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's like a milky but white looks, yeah, liquid. It's strange. <laughs> it's really weird. It's good though. I love that it's just called Sweat. Yes, that too. Pretty much what Gatorade is. It's your sweat. Um, KR Sexton wants to know, how's the weather today? Um, how's the weather? It's a little cold today. Oh. But... I'm, it's nothing like New York, so when True. I get back to New York, it's gonna be wild. Yeah, <laughs> I've good already luck. heard people are telling me like it's pretty cold today. Is it snowing yet? Uh, probably not. Just frigid. No, just frigid. <laughs> oh, poor New Yorkers. So, see, they use a serif here. They do. Kind of because I went to two museums that are sort of branded the same way because they're f like sort of in the same f like right. foundation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna keep this as a sans serif, just so we can keep them consistent. Gotcha. <laughs> Eric says you just have to tell your client, look, I'm Kendall, and then they'll think <laughs> it's cool. 
I think if you work for Eric, you could say that. Yes. He would believe you. Eric will be my new client, my okay. new and only client. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> On retainer. That's awesome. In chat, let us know what the weather's like where you are. Because it's very clear that there are people from all over the world, all kinds of ecosystems and climates. Let us know. Let's see. Okay. Move that a little there. Let's bring this up. What are you using? What's your um, hotkey? The hotkey for letting is mm -hmm. um, Alt and then up and down. So if you're using a PC, I think it's, or it's Option. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Tim says it's dark. It's very dark in Germany <laughs> right now. That would make sense. It's a little later there. Yeah, cool. So I'm liking this. Let's even these things out. And then, oh, whoops. Deselect that. Perfectly spaced. Perfectly Feels good. Spaced. Yeah, that's feeling like something. Um, these we could probably go more crazy here, but I think since the next one we'll do is this, is the similar similar receipt. Okay, so it's this that museum it's that was branded same, similarly. Yeah, it's the gotcha. same museum, but maybe we can do something slightly different here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Like I'm I'm constantly like looking like double checking the receipt as well to like pull elements from and mm -hmm. like think about like where things are spaced out. Yeah, and looking at the hierarchy that they already have built and what they think is important. Exactly. That's cool. It's to maintain. So I'm actually gonna make this feel exactly the same as this. Okay. Which is 23 points, so let's add that here. Boom, done. And then this one they reverse the reverse the layout here, so it ends up being on top. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh. And then sort of start. Again, we could I mean we could do the receipt the same way like this part the same way, mm -hmm. but like maybe let's not. Let's go wild. <laughs> So let's do this. The um, Japanese characters, <clears throat> you can stack them, and they read both ways. Oh, I didn't know that. So well, I guess you can that's read true. up and down, and also yeah. right to left. Mm -hmm. So let's do that one up and down. Maybe. This one has less. I bought less things at this one, so it's okay. got more space. So let's utilize it. Wonder what you Actually, bought. You know what? This one is just the general admission. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got you, got you. Nothing crazy. No Picari sweat. <laughs> you got you had enough. Enough of that sweat. This is not the right way to do this, so I'm gonna actually go back. Okay. Because I want to make this even, right? So it's one way to do let's it. Let's see if we can just make two rectangles. Copying and pasting, that rotating. Fit. So that they're the right size, and then let's merge these, which I do in Illustrator all the time. But yeah, I was gonna say. Find where it is in. Uh, is it just, where is it? Can you do it in InDesign? I'm pretty sure you can. I'm just gonna figure out where it is. You know what? We're just gonna throw it in Illustrator. Easy. Get out of there. Throw it in Illustrator, merge it, boom, and bring it back. I'll figure it out in InDesign later. Yeah, when it's not live. When it's not live. <laughs> cool. And then let's add that same stroke to it. Let's see if that works. Yes. Wow. And then get rid of the fill. Yeah. Cool. That's something, right? Yeah. You're seriously just like building yeah, Legos. Yeah, just playing. Let's play. You know, I actually want this to flip. Whoa. So we're going to put this on top now. You are quick, especially with the tablet. You're like true artist. That looks like a T. It does. Right? But uh, you know what? 
since this art museum is called Teshima, mm -hmm. let's flip them. We'll move this down here. You're so brave. And this goes here. Oh, well, I need to get the, the text correct, though. So let's copy this. I usually, like, make a copy to save text. Mm -hmm. This goes here, same format. I think it's the same. Oh, right, it is the same, because they both say receipt. Yeah, it doesn't it's like, say, receipt, receipt. It doesn't say Teshima mm -hmm. receipt, it says receipt, so, yeah. I love that redundancy. Them. Cool, so let's just move it up then. Oh, yeah, I hope this doesn't affect your whole layout too much. It will, but we can get back to it. Okay, cool. You're not scared. That's what the grid is for. That's true. <laughs> the good old grid. Two by seven? Is that what we're working Two with? by seven, yeah. So strange. I love it. So, yeah, this was up above, right? I'm actually forgetting. Let me undo this. Where were we? Okay, cashier is above the rule. Okay. Yep. Right? I don't even see the cashier on here. Oh, yeah, I do. That was a blatant lie. It's right there. Yes, Tim, good call. We do have the chat and win happening in exactly three minutes. So make sure that you are logged in on Behance if you would like to participate. It's just a little way for us to say, thanks for hanging out. Glad that you're here. You could win a free hardcover notebook from moo.com. So make sure you're logged in, and in a couple minutes, we'll ask you a question for you to answer. So how would you feel about doing this entire project in Illustrator? Oh, do you I think it'd never be easier? Do it in Illustrator. No? See, no, Eric thinks that it might be easier. Because, <clears throat> mostly because when you go to print, like, oh. I'm going to need to, you know, have images linked and everything um, in the right place. Yep. So for, yeah, for me, I would never do this in Illustrator. There you um, go. But yeah, if you prefer Illustrator and you can work faster in it, maybe could figure it out but that's true I think in terms of like actually printing a book InDesign has everything really set up for you yes oh, not, this text is somehow got it's real tight yeah it got super tight let's make sure that the letting is right why is that <laughs> people are getting hype in the chat they're wanting that notebook What's up, Ojana? Welcome, Brian, hello. Osama, Steve. Hey, hey, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is Kendall Henderson working on a super cool recommend ex experience book. I yeah, don't even know. Document, documentation thing of a, of a trip a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's Really An expense something. report. Yeah, <laughs> a personal <laughs> expense report for your friends, to help your friends. Exactly. Uh, it's really awesome. But yeah, Eric, we will be giving away a notebook from Moo. It's really cool. It's large, hardcover. You can write whatever you like in it. It has lay flat technology, which I always love as an artist. Um, so we'll be doing that in about 50 seconds. Make sure that you are logged in and let us know you're logged in by saying hello in the chat. We can confirm for you. What's up, Mohammed? Glad to have you. And then, like I said, we'll ask you a question. Once you answer, you'll be entered to win. Do I have to pick the question again? <laughs> if you mm -hmm. want. No, you guys do it. <laughs> okay, I'll brainstorm. Make it good. Mm, oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, got one. Perfect. All right, let's see, where do we want this? Let's. Hmm. We got Kevin Henderson back in the chat. Hey, Dad. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out again. Move this up. Are we at the? Is this the time limit? It is the for time. This? Perfect. The fireworks pencils are being. Down. Yeah, pencils down. <laughs> Set that down. Uh, the time limit has hit. We are going to be giving away this notebook from Moo. So if you'd like to participate, let me ask you a question, and when you answer in the chat, you will be entered to win. If you could go anywhere in the world. 
Where would you go? Let us know. Very good. It's a robot. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he was asking, who picks the winner? And I said, <clears throat> it's a robot. It's uh, Dobby Sensei. But people are answering the question. Madison says she would come to San Francisco, obviously. Good, que- or good, good answer, answer, Madison. Uh, Yadira would go to Korea, Mallorca, um, let's see, France, Thailand, Japan, Japan, Colorado, Greece. Wow, Seoul, Japan again, Iceland, Africa, New York. So many people wanted to go so many places. All good. All yeah. good places. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? Uh, <laughs> let's see. You weren't thinking about this during the break? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Anywhere. I really kind of want to go to Egypt okay. at some point. Someone said that in the chat. Um, Got to convince some people to go with me, though. And then um, let's, I, I'm going to Iceland soon. Oh, wow. I have to do that. Cool, it's already planned? You're going? It's not planned, but it's loose. Okay, (laughs) got you. Oh my gosh, we have the winner! Madison Stevenson, congratulations. You are going to be winning an awesome hardcover notebook from Moo.com. If you don't know about Moo, it's a beautiful place to get your beautiful business collateral. Make it simple to create beautiful, expertly crafted business materials. There you go, so you can get postcards, business cards, tote bags, stickers, all kinds of good stuff. A friend of mine told me that using Moo to actually make hang tags for clothing is really, oh. really easy. So like out of a business card maybe? Yeah, just business card just that you hold punch. punch. A hole. Yeah. That's genius. So chat, if you want to try that out and you did not win the chat and win, no worries because we have moo.com slash adobe live for your own uh, discount code just as a thank you for being here. So go check that out. Um, and thanks. Madison, Adobe Live will be contacting you via your Behance messages. So keep an eye out for that and we'll get that sent over to you. Super cool. cool. So I think these are like starting to look kind of cool, mm-hmm. a little interesting, got some newness to them. Yeah, similar but different. Similar but different. That's what we want. Let's add these rules in. Where did I have them? Under cashier, right? And for the total. Boom. Okay. And I notice in all of the ones you've worked on so far, the rules are pretty close to uh, the copy that is near it. Yes. There's not a lot of letting. Right. Is that just a stylistic choice? Or are you doing that for a reason? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like, like, boxing in the section mm-hmm. that we're looking at, like real tightly. Yeah. And then sort of also using this rule as an underline for what's above it. Oh. Gotcha. Because it's a dense amount of space just because of the the nature of a receipt, but also the ratio that has been chosen. Right. Obviously, I could have made a larger format, and it would have given made it <clears throat> easier to give to allow for more space for those things. Right. But you know, let's keep some things close to their nature, right? Yeah. So it still reads receipt. Exactly. In some sort of way. Cool. What's up, Anna? Thanks for hanging out, Anton. These What's two? up? So these two are done, I think. Can come back to them. Um, let's see. This Ooh. one's real dense. Look at um, all those characters. So this is 7-Eleven, which ah. is called Seven Holding Group in, uh, really? in Tokyo. Yeah, because it's it's actually much bigger than just a, a convenience store. They have like a bank, um, oh. their own bank, their own like pub, maybe publishing. Like this um, res- this ad at the bottom actually is a. Is a um, <laughs> GoPro to the rescue. This ad at the bottom is actually a magazine like um, like return like give back program. Oh, okay. So you can like bring magazines back to Seven Eleven, and I guess they'll recycle them or they'll redistribute them somehow. Mm-hmm. Quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, yeah. I've I've heard that you can like pay your bills there. You can yes. get your lunch and dinner there. Yes. Go grocery shopping. So yeah, this one's dense. Mm-hmm. Um, I've already got the logo in from the actual, res- the scan of the receipt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's 
again, this is that moment where they like highlight the fact that it is a receipt. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna call that out somehow. Mm -hmm. And then let's see what else do we have on here. This obviously this um, this advertisement is really cool and interesting to see. Um, yeah. Looks like a little stamp. Um, so we're gonna figure out how to make that feel cool. I probably want to add this little arch, this arched text. Mm -hmm. That's really small here at the bottom. <laughs> that makes it very stamp-like. Yeah, right. So I'm probably gonna add that mm -hmm. somehow. Gotcha. And then, yeah, let's go. Cool, let's do it. Jump on in. Oh, you can even see the texture. Yes. That's the best. Oh, Eric says people pay their bills at 7-Eleven in Taiwan as well. There you go. I know that. Oh my gosh, Sharon is watching us from the sky. I don't think anyone has ever watched us from an airplane oh, wow. before. That's amazing. <laughs> Hi from my Delta flight at 34,765 feet. Sharon. How's the internet up there? Hello up there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you flying over right now? Are you over San Francisco? Are you literally right up here? That's amazing. Where are you going? Give us all the deets. And yes, how is the internet up there? Because <laughs> I did not know it could stream I did anything. Not <laughs> it's quite incredible. When you are on long flights, what do you like to do? Work or sleep. I was gonna say, are you yeah. a worker? I try to work. Mm -hmm. cause, uh, I can focus a little better on the plane somehow. Yeah. Even though like, I don't have much space. <laughs> right. Somehow I'm able to work it out. And you're kind of like, I could do nothing or I could put my mind to something. Right. Hmm. Gotcha, I'm too cheap to ever buy the internet. So I just usually oh, really? <laughs> just sit there. Well, that another another trick off topic. If you buy while you're on the ground and not while you're actually in on the plane, mm -hmm. it's cheaper. Really? Yeah. You can do that? So you buy a pass, at least for Delta, I know that's how that, that works. Oh, okay. You buy a pass on, on before you board and you mm -hmm. store it and then when you, you just activate it when you get up there. Wow. Life tips from Kindle. Love that. Uh, Sharon is flying over southern Utah, heading to San Diego. Nice. Nice weather, fun. Seriously, beautiful San Diego. You're gonna go snorkeling? Swimming? What are you gonna do? Uh, KR Sexton wants to know, is anyone going to Designer Con in California this year? I don't, you going? I don't <laughs> You're know like, that, what that was. Uh, she says, it's usually in Pasadena, but it might be in Anaheim this year. That's cool, tell us more about it. It sounds very self-explanatory, <laughs> Designer Con. But what kind of design I am curious about? Could be a lot of different stuff. And chat, since we did our chat and win a couple minutes ago, that's also a good reminder that if you look below me, you'll see that the challenge submission deadline is in about 21 and a half minutes. Uh, if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream where we talked about it, I'll remind you that today's challenge is to create a travel poster so keeping in the editorial design, um, graphic design realm, using the font pack that Kindle curated for Adobe Fonts. So if you wanna pop over to my screen super duper quick, I can show y'all a little preview. Uh, it's a for documentation with Adobe Live, super awesome, and there's a whole bunch of typefaces you can use for your travel poster. So. Take that as you will. What is a travel poster to you? Uh, what kind of copy would be on a travel poster? Maybe the name of the place, that might be important. Uh, maybe a, a slogan or a subtitle of some sort. So check out one of these or a couple of these typefaces, make a design, and then get it submitted by 11.30, so in about 20 minutes, and we will do some critiquing and reviewing. Yay. Very excited. It went pretty well yesterday. Yeah. There were some cool submissions. People got in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you do enter, you will have your work shown live, which is really cool. You'll be reviewed by a professional designer, which is even better. And then you will also be in the running to win a free year of Creative Cloud at the end of the day, which is pretty amazing. No reason not to submit unless you're at work and you're like busy doing other <laughs> things. And busy doing work. <laughs> making money, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Uh, more about designer con or design con. It's grown a lot in the past few years, but it's a lot of different designers, tour design, illustration, do-it-yourself stuff, all kinds of different booths. I'm a huge fan of it, and it's inexpensive to attend. That's always good to hear. Cool, so if anyone's in the 
Southern California area, you should definitely go. Check it out. Beautiful weather. <laughs> Why not, right? Good food, fun stuff. Have you ever been to conventions? Is that a thing that you like to do? Um, I've never actually been to a convention, no. Hmm, are you interested? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe designer con, right? Totally good. Apparently it's inexpensive, so why not? I'm a I'm a fan of conventions. Oh yeah? I if you actually lots of talks. Yes, exactly. Like if you actually go to participate in like the classes and the workshops, it feels like you're like at school again. It's exhausting and awesome. Your brain is just full of new information. That is good. It's always good to for me at least to like separate myself from like thinking about, oh, client deadline, mm -hmm. this thing, like, and go back into like l the learning phase. Yeah. Um, Cause you know, you get little nuggets and insights out of that, that you're not necessarily paying attention to when you're in your professional world. Totally. Yeah, it's very much, there's like a, an end in sight in the professional world. You're like working towards a specific thing. Whereas if you're just learning, exactly. who knows? Keep your mind open. Um, let's be mindful of our staple, which is gonna probably be right here. Oh. So I'm gonna drop this down to the next section and fit everything into that. Let's actually let's break our little grid just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, if you say so. Cool. Let's bring, let's give this a little more space. All right, so you got a Nishiki, is yes. that? Beer. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe some gum. Some gum. Nice. And then this is sake, because they sell that at 7 Oh, a little yeah. cup of it. Yeah. For a dollar. And then we got 10 <laughs> cups of it. This is actually really, ten, or not 10 cups, sorry, 10 clear cups to pour. Oh, into. okay. Um, this is actually a really funny story, because we, we, Dinesh, who's on the chat right now, Dinesh. and a few other people, um, were headed to a little island off the coast of. Okayama, mm -hmm. called Naoshima, which is where those two museums are from earlier. Ah, uh, gotcha. And when we got to, when we got to the station and the port, because the train station lets you off, and there's the port right there. Mm -hmm. um, we just missed the ferry. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so we like checked in, saw when we needed to be back, and we had like maybe ten minutes. And Dinesh and I have this running little joke, which is pretty American of us, even though, yeah. Um, <laughs> But you, the idea is that any place that we travel to that you can like drink in public, we just grab a drink real quick and drink it fast and then go on like doing what we were doing. Yeah, because so, why not? Because why not, right? <laughs> um, so we had five minutes to kill, so we ran back up to the 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. grabbed some, some beers and things, and uh, it was actually like really dark this night. Mm -hmm. um, so we were kind of worried. And then we, when we went back to the port, they told us it was not going to be a, the big ferry. It was going to be like a tiny little boat. Oh no! So, so. Who got sick? No one. We. Oh, okay. it, it was a short ride. It's okay. like maybe 20 minutes, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was pitch black. Like just riding through the like, like the Sea of Japan. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> to this, to, to this. I mean, like it's a bay, really. But yeah, but still. To this little island, like in the dark, was pretty exciting. But we had our beer and sake, so we were good. Yeah, you were safe, you were warm. And inside. then also, this this gum is really cool. I, I bought it because of the packaging. Mm. Um, I it's love actually- Is it gray? It's blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. And like, double fact check me on this, but I'm pretty sure that the designer who designed the Uniqlo branding designs design this gum. Yeah, I literally have this yeah. gum sitting on my desk upstairs. Yeah. I love this gum, it's so cool. Yeah. Literally. Hmm. <laughs> I just love this yeah, little guy. Yeah, there's several iterations of it too, and it's really cool. They did like awesome. an anniversary pack. Yeah, here it is. So I, I see that as gray. I don't know about you. Oh, the gum itself. I thought you meant the oh, packaging. Oh, yeah. Yes, the gum is gray, yeah. It's so weird. It's like, what? So yeah. aesthetic. Love it. But yeah, he's a classic designer from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, check him out. It's the best. Do you know? Let me can find his name. I'll look. His website, I believe, is Samurai. Just that? Yeah. Designer. No, you're, yeah, you'll have to type in like. <laughs> Samurai design. Branding, maybe? Okay, let's see. Um, Koala? Let me see if I can find it. 
We're going on an adventure, everyone. Come along with us. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. Kawashi Soto, yes. Oh. The studio is called, I'm pretty sure it's called Samurai. Look at all that. Are you a Uniqlo fan? I am. They make yeah. great stuff, make it well, and make it quick. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. <laughs> Which may or may not be a good thing, but yes. definitely have Samurai cool looking stuff. Ink. Ah. So let's check out this project. Are we supposed to be doing this? <laughs> we can live? do this, yes. <laughs> There are no rules. Yeah. No, this is for the enlightenment of everyone. Yes, I love his website. Whoa, like, it's this, right? so responsive. So um, what day? Where are you? Hidden. Hmm. Well, you can go check it out, everyone. Yeah, take a look at his work. It's great stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> K.R. Sexton loves Uniqlo as well. Cool. Uniqlo. So, all right, that one looks cool. Instead of doing the stacked type on the bottom, let's just make it all sort of rotate around, mm -hmm. which is cool. Fits nice in that in that um, rectangular area yep. to like have these curves. So yeah. let's embrace that. Built for it. I'm wondering if for any of these you can integrate the staple. If you if you land on the staple as the binding of choice, like having things on either side of it, Interesting. that would be too dangerous. I mean. Nice. If I'm binding it with a staple, it's probably going to be done by me. So that's true. I would have control. If it's messed up, it's your it's your own fault. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, could could the staple just go right through this? That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It gives me a little more space too. That's, that's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> Doing my job. That's the only thing I had to do today, give you a good idea. And chat, if you have any ideas for what Kindle should be working on or maybe adding little details in, yeah. let us know what you see. Because we're playing today, so mm -hmm. why not? If you guys have something you think would be cool to pull from the receipts or to pull from your inspiration, let's try to add it. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Uh, somebody said if they visited Japan, they would go bankrupt, they would buy everything because of the packaging design. Um, yeah, exactly. You, you just, I, you collect things, like receipts. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally the things that you're collecting, yeah. with, that you're purchasing. Um, uh, there's also a good question from Robert, mm -hmm. my favorite Japanese designer. Yeah. Um, it's probably that guy, Kawashi Soto, mm -hmm. just because I love the Uniqlo system. Like, yeah. the brand system is so well, well done and so structured, but is, like, kind of free and cool. Yeah. Um, there's also this shop called Hara, Hara Design, and they make a lot of great stuff. Hmm. It's minimal. It's really clean. Do some. They did do some work for Muji. Ooh, Muji. I didn't know about Muji till I moved to California, and I was like, Oh, really? I want to live here. Yeah, I don't have it in the Midwest. No Muji in the Midwest. I love this little like full screen. Yeah, we are <laughs> in the internet. And it oh. feels so good. Why are these things taking so long to load? Or is so that just powerful. me being impatient? <laughs> <laughs> you tell us, chat. <laughs> uh, Robert says Iko Tanaka is his favorite. Oh, cool. I don't know Iko. Let yeah. me check them out. Let's look that up. I'll look that up. You yeah. look that up. So packaging, a lot of logos, branding. They submitted for the Tokyo 2020 oh. Olympics. I don't believe they got it, but it was one of the, like, the better ones. That's cool. Yeah. Good stuff. This is mm -hmm. the Muji campaign that I love. You got it, internet. The internet in the office has been slow for the last couple of days, I will say. Ooh, look at those colors. It's nice and simple. Mm -hmm. It's really, really like so dynamic just by like making something really small in these wide, uh, yeah, like layouts, right? Man, check that out. And Eco, I think Tanaka was. Uh, some, I forget who said it, their favorite designer. And oh, yeah, I yeah, right, right, right. And I can see why yes. this would be a favorite. This is so That's beautiful. That's a famous poster, yeah. Wow. Graphic master. Self-proclaimed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so check that out. And let us know, chat, your favorite designers worldwide, um, wherever. Yeah. Let us know. Cool. So I'm actually going to, for this one, this is, uh, this was like one of my favorite restaurants that I went to mm -hmm. um, where I had, uh, 
fried like katsu scallops, which was amazing. Whoa. I never had that before. Mm -hmm. Was it and battered? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So katsu is like a type of, or it's a technique of way they batter, mm -hmm. like fry. Yeah. Fry, um, Imagine like a fish stick, like that kind yes. of batter, yeah. kind of. So with that, I'm going to try to not necessarily recreate this logo, this logo type, but you know, make something similar just so it mm -hmm. feels a little bit more unique from the from the straight text. So let's go into Illustrator. This is like sometimes like what I'll do just to make things feel a little more unique. Mm -hmm. um, we want to. I mean, for all intents and purposes, we could go crazy with this and make a completely different word mark or logo yeah. type, but yeah. for time. Uh, I think it's best to maybe just pull one element that we like and try to blend it into the text. Cool. So I've already dropped in and I've already outlined it. Um, and feel free to give me a suggestion too. Um, but I really like how the, like taking the elements of the, the like the brush stroke. Yes. So like how this like ink gets left over right mm -hmm. here and sort of skips on to the next uh, uh, stroke. It's so good. It's really cool. So mm -hmm. like let's maybe pull some of those moments like where we're sort of bleeding into the next yeah, stroke. Yeah, the thicks and thins are super yeah. nice. So, and obviously I'm not going to do this like very like rigid. It's yeah. going to be like really loose. Mm -hmm. um, like my, like all my points aren't going to be perfect is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> cool. I mean at the end of the day it's going to be so teeny tiny. Exactly right. Oh, so you're gonna use the pencil tool. Use the pencil tool to like smooth out these mm -hmm. um, corners just to get started. Gotcha. And then I know I wanna like fold this into that, that stroke over there. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually just gonna grab this point and move it over. Whoa. Maybe get it to fit. Let me get rid of those. Perfect. So that feels already like it's aligned. And then out of this anchor, move it in. Dang, so this is why you brought the tablet this today. This is why I brought the tablet. <laughs> Bringing out the big guns. Uh, Ryan says, it's a smiley face. I know a lot of people it use is. this as like a smiley face emoji. That's I true. I feel like it's like, is it she or Tsu? I forget. I think it's Tsu, because the name of the place is Imakatsu. Okay. So, probably something like that. There you go. Yeah, the one next to it is the Ka. So you already know like some Japanese, you should just go. <laughs> I know, I can it's, I can read the characters sometimes, but I don't know what the word means when I read it. It just is a sound. Right. But maybe I should just go and learn. What's going on here? Let's ungroup this stuff. <laughs> Eric says, look at that confidence. Kindle has all the confidence. Yeah, we're gonna make this look probably ugly, but whatever. <laughs> It'll Works. be cool, ugly. Yeah, that's a good thing. I like that. Nice people are saying, yeah, it's Sue. Good call, everybody. Fellow katakana knowers. I'm just gonna smooth these things out and maybe see if we can get things looking right. And usually what I do is just like merge that and then the pen tool or the pencil tool for me is like, so comes in such handy because yeah. it gets me to like, like sort of a, a feel for what I'm doing, and then I can go back in and perfect things, mm -hmm. obviously, by like grabbing and getting rid of anchor points and right. X, Y, Z. But yeah. for now, it's just giving me like a look. Cool, I love how with the pencil tool you can, if you have it selected, you can just draw back over it and it will change it. Yes. It's super helpful. And if that's not turned on, and you're trying to do that in Illustrator, and it's not working, just press Enter when you're using the pencil tool, and a menu box will pop up and you can check or uncheck that as an option, just as a heads up. Get my reference in front of me. Smart, like a good designer. Yes. <laughs> uh, Dinesh says, I didn't know about the pencil tool Tool move. Gotta teach me that. Dinesh, learn it right now, it's yeah. happening. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, they're wondering, are you using the Wacom tablet? Yes, I am. It's right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Intuos Pro Medium? Yes. It makes it easier, obviously, mm -hmm. to do things like this. Yep, definitely. You could definitely do a lot of things with the mouse, but this just definitely cuts down some time. Yeah. Pro tip. 
for speed purposes, mm -hmm. since we're, we're live. It's important. What's up, Marina? Thanks for joining us. Somebody just left and said good night, so good night to whoever just left. I missed your name, I apologize. Uh, Umar says, I'm a professional photo editor. Super oh, cool. cool. Umar, do you use a uh, tablet for when you're brushing on things or erasing things? What kind of photos do you edit? We're waiting for the response. Yeah. <laughs> And on top of that, there is a lag. So they probably haven't even heard me say that yet. Oh, really? Um, Equipoise is wondering, how much time did it take you to get used to the tablet? Um, not too long, actually. Yeah? Um, but I guess I've been using it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, probably since 2007 or eight, maybe? Yeah. Enough do you, time. Do you use one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still not used to it. Oh, and really? I've been using it like just as long. It definitely feels more natural than I thought it would. Mm. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it, or I love it for actually painting, like when I'm filling in large areas, but I don't like it for sketching. I'd rather just sketch on paper and then take a picture or scan it in. Right. It's always very skewed if I'm doing it on a tablet just because of that disconnect of like drawing down here, looking up there. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's where a Cintiq comes in or an iPad Pro. Let's see what we can do with this. I like how the angle of, I like this angle mm -hmm. versus the curve that I have here. Yep. So I'm gonna try to get that in. Probably start by just making a new shape. <laughs> okay. Cool. So we got that. Just draw that baby so right back in. Sometimes helps to just draw it over this too, to give a base. Nice, and you'll keep the right angle and everything. Right. Cool. And then, just have to mimic our weight, to make sure that that stays consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you usually just draw like a little shape to. Yeah. Double check with. Smart. There. This gives us at least like a something to work from. Mm -hmm. There's just quick little ways that you can kind of check yourself and make sure that you're keeping things cohesive. It's good. And yep, good call, Adobe Live. You have about uh, two minutes to get your submissions submitted. So if you're still working, it might be a good time to export and start uploading. Uh, but if you are just in the middle of working and you don't think you can get it done, no worries. We still have Ozzy streaming. We still have Steven streaming. So you can always submit it then. Uh, and then 2.30 will be the deadline for your finished project to be considered for the uh, grand prize, I guess, for today, which would be a year of Creative Cloud. Well, I wish that I could enter. <laughs> you are entering right now. You have to compete with Kendall, everyone. Sorry to say. Tom says, I have a poster due today, but God, I love watching this and I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, don't let us get in the way of your success. Your actual work, right? Yeah, but I'm super glad that you're enjoying this. Thanks for hanging out. Get rid of that point. No, I'll keep that point. Let me get rid of this point. We have quite a few submissions. I'm cool. impressed. How long till we review? Uh, 50 seconds. Oh. <laughs> Pencils down in 50 seconds. Okay. Yes. I mean, it could be like a minute, I guess. Uh, Munir, we'll answer the question in just a minute. No worries. Cool. Yeah. Something like this. Awesome. Very brush, brushy feeling. Right. And before we jump into the challenge submissions, uh, Munir has been wondering if you have any tips on how to find an online mentor or just mentors in general. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Online mentor. Just reach out, Munir. Yeah, I mean, I think that's an interesting question. I've never thought about that. Yeah, do you online have a mentor? Versus, I feel like I have a few mentors mm -hmm. um, and I have like a, a few peers that I would consider mentors mm -hmm. um, but those aren't they they've been actual 
like contacts, like yeah. not online. So I've never really thought about that. All right. Do you ever communicate with them online? Uh, just text. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> but I would say a way to sort of establish something like that. An interesting way you could go about it is maybe like interviewing them for something. Yeah. Um, like just reach out and request, um, like, hey, just wanted to like shoot some questions to you. Like maybe I'll publish them in something or mm -hmm. put them in a project or whatever it may be. Right. Um, and then make those questions really good. <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> Don't waste their time. Right. And then that's maybe a way to start the relationship. And then mm -hmm. maybe you can continue to reach out like as you grow in your career. Mm -hmm. It could be something I might do that myself. Yeah. I think you'll be so surprised by how nice people are. Yeah. People are, especially if you are respectful of their time, like Kendall was saying, and really be intentional, and not just demanding their time, but right. not really taking it seriously. Right. Yeah, just reach out. Don't really like that. Cool. Are well, we ready? Yes, we are ready. Cool. So maybe we can come back to it when you, uh, when we are done looking at all these, if we have time, because like I said, we have a lot. We have 12 <laughs> to look at. Right. It's amazing. So just as a reminder, the challenge for today was to use one of the typefaces or a couple from the font pack that Kindle has put together and make a travel poster out of it. So we have some super cool submissions. I'm excited. This first one is by <coughs> Ricardo. Oh, wow. This is dope. The Beach. Make sure I'm zoomed in. Perfect. It's even in a mock-up, which is nice. Yeah, Look, I, I love the foil treatment mm -hmm. that you mocked up. That's yeah. nice. It makes it really look finished. Oh, Palm Beach specifically. Yes. I see. Could you read that at first? No, I, I could not, cool. um, which is fine. I think that's probably the intention. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe, like, it's lovely. I love the, the asymmetry you have going with, like, the way that it's fitting in the frame. Yeah. But maybe for the that text that's hiding there behind, since it's uh, since it's already ghosted out, maybe mm -hmm. it could be a little bit of a clearer typeface. So maybe That's things true. don't um, go edge to edge or like bleed off the edge yeah. of those images. Okay. Maybe they they lock up in the center um, with a more uh, straightforward font. Yeah, I agree. Like this is already just ghosting it back a little bit. Already takes some of the readability or legibility down. So I totally agree. Yeah. Very nice, it's beautiful cool colors. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. job, Ricardo. I love this one from what I can see. Oh, nice. Uh, this is by Matuesh, I think. So for nice. Brazil, beautiful paper cut texture. Mm -hmm. Nice. You, what do you think about mixing the languages? Is really cool. Oh I love yeah, that. yeah. Nice. What do you think about the composition? The composition's cool. Yeah, strange. obviously. Um, that's like an iconic statue, mm -hmm. um, but that you've masked it in with the with the with the flag, which mm -hmm. is cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about um, the the placement of the flag within the silhouette? It feels like he's tr he or she is trying to get the um, the mon motto mm -hmm. or whatever you would call that on yeah. the on the flag, like yeah. to be a highlight. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, because the flag is a little more intricate there could be a little bit of finesse to maybe make. So like at the top of the head of the statue, like that space could probably fill in yellow. Mm -hmm. um, like it doesn't have to read, it doesn't have to be this like exactly the flag because it's cropped. So you could probably fill that space in, you could probably fill the hand in and mm -hmm. make them yellow and then they wouldn't be so distracting. Yeah, this is a little distracting for me. Yeah. It's like green, yellow, blue, Right. arrow pointing to it. <laughs> But this is a really cool. But that's like, again, there's obviously you've placed the flag in as is and haven't made any adjustments. Yeah. But I think that this is a place where you can take the liberty to, like you understand how the flag shape works. But yeah. here we are like cropping it within something else. So let's mm -hmm. just like break a little bit of its standard to mm -hmm. make it work in the space that we're trying to work it in. Totally. And I know there are some like, uh, if you're actually gonna print this, there's some like legal implications for editing a flag too much. So maybe you're keeping that in mind. I'm not sure, <laughs> but pretty cool. All right, this is by Lori for Finland. This is really cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love the use of type here. 
um, and obviously oh, like creating dimension in space with the yeah. with the photos on top of photos with the type running over mm -hmm. it. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, I prefer just this middle section. I don't know if you really need yeah, this. Yeah, the border is border. kind of adding a, a, another move that you may not need. Mm -hmm. Right, and the text seems like it might be a little bit stretched, mm -hmm. which. And also, like when doing like borders like this, obviously sometimes it's not. It, it will take a long time to get it right, but yeah. try to avoid the moments where you have Trav and then El like mm -hmm. split. El Finland. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Unless you're doing it intentionally, so maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe the L and the F both start. Like maybe you work with those to like make it look more intentional. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or you just create a little shape to like act as the, the anchor point in between. Yep. Yeah. yeah, like a little bullet or something. Yeah. But I think this is, like you said, super beautiful and the dimension is awesome. And a little bit of humor. We have lots of trees too. <laughs> True. <laughs> nice job, Lori. Thank you for submitting. All right, on to the next. It's by Equipoise. Travel to the yellow city of Izamal. Oh, cool. The QR code. Wonder where it goes. I know. <laughs> Somebody do it quick. Screenshot. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one's interesting. I like the, the photo itself. It's really cool. Um, there could maybe be some more hierarchy be mm. between the the title, is it title or headline, I guess we would call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I like yeah. this little solution. Yes. Through the time of travel, and I don't know if it really fits with like the rest of the style. The rest of it's very just mm -hmm. horizontal, and this kind of breaks it a little bit. But I like it. Yeah. It's interesting. So maybe in that case, since you have. Uh, that element that actually is really kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's. Wouldn't it be interesting to get rid of some of the horizontal elements yeah. that are leading us to believe that the seven to the fourteenth is out of place. Right. So like the your your rules and the bars that you have surrounding time of travel in Mexico. Mm -hmm. If you got rid of those bars, maybe you would lose the tension that you have there. So true. And yeah. Maybe make seven to the fourteenth bigger. Could be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nice job. All right, on to the next. Uh, Saniak, Dream Big. Oh, this is cool. This looks like a magazine ad. Yes. I like this one because it's using the the title. Um, what's, what's that? Like, it's like a counterpoint of the title. So, like, it says Dream Big, but it's in small text. Yeah. And then you have this really large uh, cityscape mm -hmm. that's cropped. I really love the contrast that you're having between the actual word. Yep the words that you're using mm -hmm. and the, the visuals. So this is really nice. Yeah, and this just like has me asking so many questions. Like I'm very intrigued by this yeah. mystery location. Yeah, the only only comment I would make is again, advent, like when you read Chur Advent, like it's, mm -hmm. it's sort of like a, you'll get it, but it's sort of like a, it's difficult to get to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just gonna look better or more intentional if you crop adventure in a different way because right now it could be unintentional. Yeah. Um, so like picking a way to like make that work, maybe it's just the left edge of the A and the, and the right edge of the E. Yeah. Could still give you the same feeling that you're looking for. Yeah, definitely. Really cool. Nice job, Saniak. All right, visit beautiful Dublin. Siobhan is uh, trying to get us to come to, I believe Siobhan lives in Dublin, right? Maybe so he's like, come on over, check this out my is, cool place. This is super cool. Did she do the interest, the illustration? I don't know. Let us know. Because I love the way that you're like grading the the stripes on this smoke tax, mm -hmm. sm smoke stacks. Like it's super interesting. It's mm -hmm. like soft, but it's not. It doesn't feel like a gradient. It feels like bleeding paint, which yeah. is like really totally interesting. And there's this gradient in the background, but then the shapes yeah. are very graphic. Yeah. And then the reflection in the water is a super, super good detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think about the mix of typefaces? Do you think they go well together? Yeah, they, they're interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I think maybe a visit is all caps. Mm. It could nicely sandwich like beautiful and Dublin. Dublin, yep. Or sandwich with Dublin, yep. essentially. Mm -hmm. um, just because it might be too many different things going on. Yeah, and if you do this in all caps, you might be able to make it a little bit shorter. Right. 
because right. the letters will take up more space right. and it'll be able to mimic this Dublin a little more. But also because the way that the eyes extend mm -hmm. past the X line, the X height, yeah, sort of creates all these weird little spaces, ooh, ooh, um, ooh. which yeah. you could get rid of if you go all caps. Yeah. So. Although it does mimic the smokestacks. That's true. Lots of things going on here. Pretty cool. Nice job, Siobhan. He says, yes, a lot of illustrator love. Cool. Nice. Used to illustrator. Uh, this is by Mohammed. Let's go to explore the world. Nice. This one's cool. Mm -hmm. All these kind of watercolor -y textures. Really nice. Oh, yeah. It's like a texture on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, the window into the, using the text as a window. Like, yeah. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Really works well with actual like travel images. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, this typeface is very like uh, empowering and like, yeah, let's go explore. Mm -hmm. it, it really fits. And I wonder if you could make this, like this is pretty obviously a crop of mm -hmm. hot air balloon. Maybe you could abstract it a little bit more. It kind of just looks like you took this image and then just blew, blew it, it up, up and yeah. stuck it in. Yeah, or maybe it goes a different color or, mm -hmm. or it fills the actual so you don't see any of the sky. Yeah, yeah. Just to make it different, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, nicely done. All right, on to the next. Got some more dimension happening. Yeah. Travel to Machu Picchu by Alberto. So I feel like this might be, Alberto, did you make a video with these motion graphics? I feel like I've seen this before from you, which is cool. What do you think about all of this yeah. dimension? I love it. Like, again, like creating dimension in, in the image by mm -hmm. like stacking text in, in Z, Z space? Is it Z or yeah. Z? Yeah. Z space. Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice, nice touch. Really cool. Um, I've never been to Machu Picchu. I want to go though. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think about the transparency here? Um, maybe don't need it since mm -hmm. you have uh, the wonder is um, is one hundred percent. Yeah, seemingly. Opaque. Maybe they both become one hundred percent, so you can actually read both in the same because it is the same sentence meant to be or mm -hmm. the same statement. So yeah. tying those back together could be better than separating them. Yep, I agree. Cool, nice nice job. All right, this is by Attilio. There's nothing like some time in Vermont. <laughs> so <laughs> quaint, I love it. Yes. Again, like, here's like question, like do you need the border, mm -hmm. right? Because- I would say no. It's sort of like, it is, it's an abstract, or uh, um, it's making things a little asymmetrical, mm -hmm. but it's sort of, doesn't seem like it's adding to the piece. Yep. Um, just yeah. because you want your interest to sort of fall you know, on the illustration. Yeah. So adding these like bars sort of takes away from that. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea, it seems very like idyllic and like peaceful. So it would be okay to just leave this pretty open and airy. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like some time in Vermont. Yeah. And I also, um, this might be personal, but like I, when there's like dot coms, I hate seeing them. Oh, okay. Um, Why? So <laughs> just because, because it's like just cause. too too uh, too much of a like self plug, right? Oh, mm -hmm. When I see them like really prominently like within the within the the piece itself, mm -hmm. so like this would almost just look better without it like living in the illustration and sort of tacked on to the center bottom. Gotcha. Like, it would yep. look beautiful there. I agree. Yeah, let the illustration yeah. and message speak for itself. Right. Cool, but nice color palette, like this cream yeah. sky with this green. Super interesting. I'm interested in hearing how people pick their colors. Yeah, <laughs> Atilio, how did you pick these colors? Maybe you had a photo from Vermont. Here's some good texture by Brian Taylor. Yeah, this is nice. Go yeah. and visit New York City. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go visit Kendall um, in New York City. Yeah, this one's really nice. I like the. Um, isometric mm -hmm. styling of the building is really cool. Of yeah. the Empire State Building, is the really highly cool. saturated shadow yes. is always super cool. Really cool graphic. Yeah, I love this one, and it's really simple. Like it's straightforward. Everything's centered. Mm -hmm. You're not doing too many moves. It's like your focal points are there. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, this one's just simple. Yeah, and I personally I like how off center this kind of spire is between these two. Mm -hmm. Like if it fell right in the center, I'd be like maybe a little too on the nose. Right. I like that. It's a confident move. Yes. What do you think about the letting? Think it works? It could be tighter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially between these two, I yeah. feel. Just to make sure like the statement is fully read. Cause like if 
you read city first when you look at this. Yeah. And then you're sort it's of true. backtracking to New York and go visit. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like adjusting the colors or the weight maybe could fix that. But I also think if you just tighten the letting, we'd see the whole statement. Yeah. And it doesn't help that city is like the deepest value. It's also the biggest thing. New York is the medium and then this is literally the smallest thing mm -hmm. and also the lightest thing. Right. So it's like, oh. <laughs> All right, nice job, Brian. He said his aim was to be simple, and he had to create the isometric graphic. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, nicely done. Save that one for the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you don't need to be a bird to get a view like this. Chiang Mai, Thailand. This one's actually really nice. And it the, is. the border here, because it sort of fades out, fades mm -hmm. away, is feels like it's intentionally there and has a, a purpose and holds a purpose. So yeah. that's, that's a great use of a border. Yep. Um, I think there could be, like, letting could be a little tighter here mm -hmm. just to make sure, like, this statement gets read again. And because this is, um, this is that Dito font, mm -hmm. um, those thins get really, really thin. So, yep. um, condensing the, the whole paragraph itself would help make sure that stays and remains legible. Yeah. Do you think the typeface or the copy needs to be this big if it's actually printed in a poster? Or do you feel okay about it? I, I like it because there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of space around it. That's true. Um, I'm just not, I think if it were to go smaller, it would feel like it's sort of living in the middle space mm -hmm. where it's either um, not not small enough to be like um, the, the like the dream big poster we mm -hmm. saw earlier where it's like yeah. really small so you kind of, you draw your attention to it. Yep. Um, or it's really big, but this if it were to go smaller than this, I think it feels like it's in between those. Yeah, like a second hit when it's yeah. really supposed to be the most important thing. Right. Cool, nicely done. This is by Noel. All right, let me refresh. Make sure we didn't miss any. Perfect. Kyoto. Yes. Nice mock-up. These greens and terracottas go well with this nice. orange. Yeah, here's another one where they use the spire of the building mm -hmm. like in, in the text, which That's is really off cool. off-center, perfect. It's off-centered again, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this one like has that, that treatment of the text sort of like fading out. Yeah, Kendall, Kendall, Kendall. That's, that's my <laughs> email signature, actually. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like that one really fits where the spire sort of plugs oh. into the in-between of the, the, the counter space there. Mm -hmm. And this is bitmapped. It's yes. super cool. Another great trick of making low res images look look yeah. like they're they're good. Yeah, and like on purpose. Yeah. Wow, I love this little element of these dots and then this dot kind of like the rising yeah. sun and it's utilized over here and I kind of wish maybe it was somewhere else as well. Yeah, you could do it in all of these the trees, the cherry blossom mm -hmm. trees in there. Right? Yeah, and it doesn't need to be as big or as loud as it is here, but just like another touch over here. Yeah. Again, like adding some more depth there mm -hmm. so like in Z space. If you were to do a little smaller dots, but mm -hmm. the same sort of treatment. Yep. Yeah. Really cool. I, I like that one a lot. That one's dope. Super awesome. Looks like you put a lot of thought into the style, the, the feeling that you get from this. So that one is by Robert. Nicely done. Robert's the one, I think, who said that their favorite designer was Tanaka, which is cool. Um, nicely done, everyone. Yeah, cool. Really, really proud. Proud of you all. Nice. Proud mother. Yeah. Um, we have about seven minutes left until we're going to say goodbye to Kendall and hello to Steven. So in the next cool. seven minutes, we'll need to do like an overview of what you did okay. today. But also, if you want to wrap anything up yeah, for the day. I, let me, I don't know if I can get this done, but let me try. Um, I can just make some simple, simple adjustments to it to make it feel right. Ooh. And then we'll, um, we'll do our recap. Yay, that's good. I can just sit back and relax. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, if you didn't get to submit your work and you're still working on it, no worries. We got two more streams. You have until 2.30 to submit. I'm actually gonna try something here. Separate these two things. Oh. And make this finish. Right? Oh, like a little drop. Because the idea is like leftover ink, right? Mm-hmm. The beautiful thing about the pencil tool as well is you can like increase or decrease the smoothing or like the accuracy of your line. So it can be really bumpy if you actually draw it real bumpy or you can really smooth it out. It's just beautiful. And it's nice because you can do all of it so quickly. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, just editing on the fly. It's nice. Let's make this. Have that corner, but let's finish oh. that off too. See what I'm trying to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that, just selecting like with the direct selection some points and moving it up. Yes. Because in the at the end of the day, you'll have time to to sort of fix the points and smooth them out and make mm -hmm. sure they look perfect. Yeah. But right now, we want to get something down so that we can get it in on the layout and make sure that it's not out of place. Yeah. Ooh, I love that. It yeah. almost looks like it twisted. Exactly. It's really just the pressure of the pen. Very nice. Sometimes I get caught up in like making sure the points are right, though. <laughs> It's like, is it yeah. is it that important? Or is it worth your minutes? Who's to say? Kendall's to say, he's the boss. Um, Equipois says, Kendall has a huge amount of patience. That's the mark of a designer. <laughs> Do you agree? I have patience here, but patience I don't have in my like, life. Okay, <laughs> this is where you patient. channel it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like, that's why you have to be so patient as a designer, you're like, I can't. I'll like work with the, this forever to get it right. Mm -hmm. But do you feel good when you're doing that, or do yeah. you, are you like stressed? It's kind of a um, like a relaxing thing. Mm. I'm the opposite. Oh yeah. I would like be like antsy the whole time. Like I just want to finish it. But I feel like I have some patience in real life, so maybe we're kind of opposites. Yeah. I'm so impatient. I mean, in, I live in New York, so it's like really that's hard true. To be <laughs> New York minute. Come on. Let's see this also sort of. You know what, maybe let's cut this apart too mm -hmm. and treat it the same way. Very nice. And chat, if you have any last minute questions, please feel free to ask them or you can follow Kendall on social. Yes, ask uh, him there. Henderson Kendall on Instagram mm -hmm. or please respect our neighbors, whichever you, oh my goodness, this is not working. Both of them. Um, both of them and then I have Twitter as well. I think it's all on somewhere. Like it's either on my Behance or on my font pack. Yeah, and I, I saw a couple minutes ago the moderators, lovely moderators, were posting their social links. So thank you for Perfect. doing that. Feel free to scroll back up and find those. Thank you or, guys. Yeah, thanks. I think that was Tim. Tim, you the best. Adobe Live, you the best. Uh, or click on the info tab and click on Kindle's face. It'll take you to Behance. Give him a follow. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Tim. All the links. Oh, I like yeah. that. Right. Mm-hmm. And then this one's pretty simple. That's, yeah, eh. So it'd be Ibizu? Ibizu? Or what was it called? Himakatsu. Himakatsu, What's, not what, Ibizu. How do you say this? Eh, like E. Eh. Okay, got it, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Someone, Someone can correct, will correct me. you. Yeah. Yeah. I just remember the symbol looks like an eagle, so like e e eagle. What's up, Camillo? Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> Gabrielle says, "I wish the pen and brush tool were a bit more like Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. You feel like they're too irregular. Hmm. So would you like it to feel more like, like traditional painting, Gabrielle? Let me know what you mean." Munir says that he is following you now. Thanks, Perfect. Munir. <laughs> I'll get in there and follow you too. There you go. So, obviously I would like to spend more time on this, but we got something. That looks something, good. Right? I like so that. So let's move it back in here and replace it. Get out of here. What do you think, chat? Isn't this cool? So I now dig we it. we have our own little custom thing. And you know what I actually really like that it feels like it's not on um, like a baseline per mm -hmm. se. So we're just gonna let it float. Let's Perfect. Do that. Let's, which direction should we go though? Let me get out of here real quick. Let me just do this. Let's ungroup it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's group the things that should be grouped, which I should have merged this, but I'm gonna keep it just in case I wanna work on it more. Yeah. That, this, and that's already one. Perfect. Cool. And this is probably the last thing we'll be able to do before we say goodbye. Let's 
heads up. Yes, I know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's see if we can make this like float away, right? That's awesome. Yeah, Sharon, thank space. you for designing in space on your flight. That's amazing. <laughs> Super cool. In chat, we've got uh, Stephen and Christine coming up next for more editorial design. So make sure you stick around and keep working on your challenge submissions. Kendall, thank you so much. Perfect. For today. Tomorrow we will finish out the week with you with some portfolio reviews as well, so stick around for that. Cool. And we'll be back in a couple minutes. Goodbye.